today during the game on this day in Major League history popped up and it said that Babe Ruth made his Major League debut and we unfortunately did not get to see a two right player today. Here is the part of the score sheet. Here's the first part of the score sheet for today. That's the Mariners part. As you can see, we had 11 runs on 15 hits. Uh, and then here is the Angels portion of the score sheet. As you can see, they had no runs on yeah, five hits. Uh, they had a couple of walks mixed in there. Uh, the Mariners didn't strike out ten times today, which was absolutely amazing. Um, it made me incredibly happy to say that the Mariners did not strike out ten times uh, because it allowed me to uh, not have to make a video saying, oh no, we've done it again, and it was awful uh, because striking out ten times in a, in a game is bad. Um, faced a guy making his Major League debut today, uh, which was kind of cool to see him make his major league debut. He struggled a little bit, uh, gave up four runs in the first inning, uh, but they did allow him to come back out for the second where he gave up nothing, and then in the third he gave up a run when they pulled him out. Um, and that was um, Kahanowitz. Uh, so seven hits, five runs, four earned. Uh, it was actually pretty good. I actually had him marked down for five earned runs, but I'm not 100% sure where the error was. Oh, that's right, that's right. I marked it as an earned run because I, they marked it as an unearned run because I think they said the error on the third baseman should have ended the inning. So anything that happened after would have been bad. So he takes a loss in his major league debut. Did set a career high in strikeouts, though, against the Mariners. Again, just a joke. With one. Uh, one strikeout, no walks. Rosenberg walked three, struck out four. We struck out five times. They struck out eight. Um, he had eight. 21 or 22 base runners today. Um, we went um, we went four for nine with runners in scoring position and only left five on base. The Angels obviously left everybody on base, so we were equal. And the team left on base was actually nine team runners in score because they had walks. And we hit a guy too, and it was a whole thing. 38 at bats for the Mariners, 31 for the Angels. J.P. Crawford went three for three and was on cycle watch before he got pulled for Dylan Moore. All he needed was a triple, but pulling him was the right move. Get Dylan Moore playing time. He, Dylan Moore came in and struck out. Rojas went one for four, struck out twice. Cal went for, uh, three for five with four RBIs and a home run from each side of the plate. Uh, so he's up to 19 home runs and 18 catcher caught stealings. Julio went uh, three for three with a walk. Um, in his last three games, he's seven for 11 with four strikeouts, a homer, and a walk. So he's he's looking really good. It's just the problem was that the four strikeouts came in the same game. Uh, Robles came in for Julio, had one at bat. It was fine. Rayleigh struck out. French didn't, but he grounded into a couple double plays. So did Polanco. The grounding into double plays is why we didn't have as many runs as we should have. We should have had at least 10 to 15 runs more than what we had if we didn't ground a double plays. Uh, Bliss came in. He just, and all right. Mitch Hanniger did get on base and scored a run via the walk, but he didn't hit today. He also struck out, and he was playing DH. There's probably going to be a discussion internally soon about what Mitch does for the team um, and whether or not maybe they should ask him to retire and take a bench coach role or something of that nature. It's one of those things where I don't know what the best option is for the Mariners or Mitch Hanniger, because Mitch Hanniger has time left on his Major League contract. He is eligible for the Major League um, pension, I believe. He has more. Okay. Um... But it was such a great game for me to watch, especially because today, most of what I've been consuming today is the content related to Boogie2988 um, faking cancer, which is ridiculous. But everybody got on base who started the game. So one through nine got on base. The, the replacement guys, not everybody got on base, but that's fine. Didn't look great, but he also didn't give up a run. And then Bizarro went two innings, which... Nice to see a guy who can go more than two innings. He unfortunately does not get credited with a save. If uh, he had come in in the sixth 
or in the seventh, seven eight nine. If he pitched seven eight nine, he would have gotten credit for the save. You have to come in with um, it within three runs or the tying run on the plate or on deck, and or pitch three or more innings with the lead and keep the lead to get credited with the save. It's fine though. Like I'm sure he doesn't care about the save. He cares about the team win. And that's what we care about. Uh, Castillo goes to eight and nine. Uh, which is awesome. Two straight wins. He beat the uh, Blue Jays. Uh, we play the Angels for three more. So tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. It's 9.38 p.m. tomorrow. I'm super excited to see what happens tomorrow for the Mariners because we're facing a guy who's not major, making his major league debut. We're facing a guy who's going to be so much harder to, to get any sort of hits off of. It's Anderson, who's 8-8 eight eight with a 2-8-1 ERA. But we got Wu, who's 3-1 with a 1-7-7 seven, seven ERA. Tomorrow, I think, is going to be the pitcher's duel. And then Saturday, the NLAL Futures game is at 410. While other games are going on, that's silly. We play at 938 on Saturday, and then on Sunday, we play at 4. Um, and reminder, there is no Sunday night baseball this Sunday. The collective bargaining agreement has eliminated Sunday night baseball the day before, the week before the All-Star, or the weekend before the All-Star game ends. Home Run Derby is Monday, and then the All-Stars Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday. There's no sports. Maybe the WNBA is happening, but there's no men's sports um, in America going on. It's one of those things. So I think WNBA might be off. Um, super excited to see Julio and Cal and JP heating up all at the same time. That's going to be really good, and I definitely think there's going to be a move made at the deadline that's going to involve giving up prospects to bring in a bat or two. Uh, there was thoughts on bringing in Cody Bellinger, but he's out for at least 10 days, probably longer, because he has a fracture in his, um, one of his fingers, so that's one of the, but I could see us getting Brent Rooker if the Athletics will do, uh, do business in the division, so getting more bats would be good, getting some, Garver, I think, can stay on the team as a backup catcher, that's fine. If we don't play him as DH every day and we have him backup catch, I think he'll improve his numbers, I think he'll be better, and I think it'll allow us to, to spell Cal every once in a while every third, every fourth, fifth game. That'd be awesome to have. Or on the day nights, because Cal has played almost every game. Julio's played all but one game. If we could have another bat, not necessarily that can play the outfield, but another bat, because we have five outfielders. But if we could have another bat where we could trust to give Julio a day. He's got, like, our highest batting average. He's batting 638 over the last three days. Not sustainable at all. But if he can do that again over the next couple days, I could see him batting like 400 over the series, over the week going into the All-Star break. Julio's been amazing lately. JP's doing well. Cal's doing well. All of them doing well at the same time means the Mariners are not going to have to rely on our strength, which is our pitching. But it does also mean that we can work on our weakness, which is our hitting, by not just seeing them get to being better, but by adding. And that does mean we are going to have to get rid of prospects. And I think Harry Ford is not long for the Mariners.